I think that uh, all the composers, in a way, have some uh, connections. So therefore, Debussy and Chopin also have some, uh, certainly have some uh, connection, in a way, very close one. And uh, I think that um, not only me, of course, but this is uh, the truth, that uh, Chopin was um, a very strong inspiration for his uh, preludes and especially for his uh, etudes, for his studies. I guess that um, uh, his uh, use of uh, probably all these interesting chords, uh, as well as the, um, apart from uh, the special requirements that he uh, he pointed out in the score, uh, touch of the keys, uh, holding the sound, pushing more, pushing less, um, as well as the pedaling. I would say that he. Uh, was very firm uh, about uh, regarding it as an art really the pedaling all of that helps really to um, to describe the the colors of the nature This piano, as you can see, is my contribution to the project cooperation between arts. My colleagues, uh, especially I was uh, much more in contact with uh, Slavcho. Spirovsky uh, came up, up with uh, an idea of uh, making uh, special sculptures based on my performances. Uh, as uh, Slavcho made a really good combination of the whole thing. Debussy made goldfish. It's performed on a piano. Slavstra made a piano. He put uh, goldfish in the piano and they produce uh, sound uh, cutting the uh, light beam. So piano was uh, that object that uh, was in my head. So uh, basically it, it was uh, the starting point uh, uh, of the idea to involve the fish in the piano so they will produce the music from inside. As a child, I uh, mostly heard live performances of Debussy's music, uh, uh, more than uh, having recordings, actually. Part of it uh, includes uh, the children's corner, certainly, especially the Gollywog's cakewalk. challenging for me as uh, they have uh, exactly childish character and uh, uh, very uh, enjoyable melodies uh, and uh, I was really really much driven uh, by them. child I had a chance to to meet a lot of uh, little shepherds even even younger than me uh, shepherds uh, uh, that means 
uh, young uh, young guys that um, uh, got strong um, uh, throughout the life that they had. So they had to take care of the sheep and uh, having a chance to leave the uh, special moments of a silence. And uh, the, I have experienced, for example, some of the little shepherds playing on a flute. And um, this certainly reminds me of uh, this short but very, very precious story of Debussy. Claire de Lune is uh, probably the most uh, known piece on this program. When I started learning it, I certainly thought of uh, a special moment that I was told by my father. In this village, in the past, there was no electricity. And um, he was telling me that not having an ele electricity, uh, they had to find another way how to study. So uh, during the evening, under the... Uh, moon with no electricity uh, here as we are really high um, the moon is perfectly clear and uh, you can see a lot of stars so uh, a lot of uh, the children including my father had to study under the moon perfectly clear atmosphere of the piece on one hand, on the other hand the dreamy atmosphere of the, of the piece. I have to say that I tried that under the moonlight to read. It works, it perfectly works. It's true. in Skopje yeah, is really very typical as I am a very normal person um, and I'm just doing uh, my job as everyone else. So uh, as I am an associate professor at the Faculty of Music in uh, Skopje, I certainly go there uh, at least twice uh, a week because I have students so I teach. And uh, I'm trying to make a balance uh, between uh, my work and uh, uh, the other part of my life, which is uh, called uh, balance, which is called uh, relaxation and spending some time uh, with uh, my friends and my family. Everything that will uh, re really keep me normal and uh, that will inspire me for what I'm doing, because the everyday uh, life is uh, really of a great importance in uh, such a uh, sophisticated, I would say, and very difficult life of an artist.